Hey, Internet! <laughs> Hi. We haven't filmed any uh, Cameron and Erica's adventures in a while. Uh, we've just been busy uh, with uh, regular life stuff. Mm -hmm. But today we're uh, out on a trail by the Mackenzie River. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do some, uh, try and do some foraging, which we haven't done a lot before. Um, Erica's got a book and we're going to try and forage some plants and make some soup yeah. and uh, and explore these uh, trails down here. Um, so it should be fun. Let's do it. Cool. Anything good over there? Uh, are these really looking plants? Anything? Um, let's look. That you know? What plants? These lily looking ones. Maybe those are lilies. Oh, I don't know. Um, they weren't in the book. Not anything we know of. Yeah. But these bad boys are gonna be salmon berries at some point, and that's gonna be red. We're gonna have to go fishing here someday. Okay, so life has been rather busy. Um, I've been desperately wanting to make YouTube videos with Cameron, um, but well, we have a big life update. Do you wanna tell him? <laughs> uh, Erica's pregnant and we're having a baby boy uh, yes. in the fall. We're and stoked. So we're really excited <laughs> about it. And um, one of the things that's been keeping us busy and um, yes very busy keeping Erica tired a lot of the time yeah and uh, but it's pretty cool and yeah if you haven't noticed that in the video up till now <laughs> that's we'll, see, the we'll see what footage they see first and then after this but um, so yeah yeah there, lots of ideas are still brewing we have a ton of places we want to go um, but being pregnant is its own adventure that apparently makes you super tired. <laughs> so um, we haven't forgotten about y'all and we're excited to just be out today and um, do some foraging, which we haven't done a whole ton of. So this is going to be cool. So this is the book that I got for Christmas from my aunt and um, what we'll be using today um, to kind of guide us in this foraging adventure. Um, let me show you what I had in mind. So one of the ones that's like all around here is wood sorrel. So we're gonna gather some of that um, because in the book it does show that it's in a soup right here. And so I'm gonna put some in some soup today. All right, I found all kinds of stuff. So sorrel can be like super big um, but I feel like if I'm picking stuff for soup, I should probably get the smaller stuff so it's not so, um, I don't know, fibrous or whatever. You know, the young shoots are the good ones, I would assume. I don't know what I'm doing. We will figure it out as we go. So they pretty much look like, like four-leaf clovers, but clover itself actually has kind of like a white, um, part in the leaf and the wood sorrel doesn't. All right, found us some winter cress. Not a whole lot of it. It's in the mustard family. Apparently it's kind of bitter, um, but I plucked some of that and I'm gonna put it in the soup. So another fun thing that I brought today was my, another present that I've never used and that's the solo stove. So it's like a, Bush Buddy or any sort of the wood gas stoves. Oh, that's the spices that I brought. Um, my mom was super awesome and got this for me for Christmas. And so I have the pot and the stove. And so those nice little bags. Stove. So, 
we'll see if this bad boy works. Okay, so we just had a little bit of excitement here on our little adventure um, that wasn't expected. Uh, there's been hardly anyone on the river out here. It's the Mackenzie River and it's really fast and really high right now. And so there has been, we saw a couple boats go by like 45 minutes ago or an hour ago. And uh, anyway, just a few minutes ago, a uh, drift boat out here flipped over in the middle of the fastest water. Yeah. And the guys just went floating down the river right in the middle of the uh, that really fast water out there. Yeah. And so... So we called 911 and um but it's cold it's yeah. really cold i was trying to call 911 and my phone wouldn't connect for some reason so eric yeah. called 911 and yeah. got through Thank and goodness. talked to them for a while yeah and uh they got a boat out there yeah the mckenzie river is super dangerous and really well known for like drift boaters having issues and stuff but it's like this amazing river you can see that people love to boat down but these guys just got hung up on there's like a bunch of big rocks out there and they got hung up and then they flipped and so this thank goodness we had cell service yeah this time of year um people do a lot of rafting and stuff on the mckenzie river here and drift boating too but this time of year not as much the river's yeah. just really fast really high and yeah. um and really cold so yeah it's definitely it gets, a dangerous situation even with life jackets on which luckily they did have they they did and they did get out of the water though after i called 911 and everything we got everybody dispatched the the guys called 911 as well so they had some sort of phone on them that was waterproof or whatever because yeah fishing people out of the river sucks and we're glad they're okay so anyway we were making a fire and we got distracted <laughs> yeah the so, fire went out Anyway, we'll uh, try this again. Yeah. All right. We gotta Make find some, some food. zen. Make some food. <laughs> okay, food. I'm going. So almost everything here is like soaking wet, but I found a twig. So I'm gonna try to make some wood curls off of this little twig to light up. If it'd be better to light this on the outs, like outside of the stove, or just do it inside the stove. But I'm gonna try it inside, and then then I'm gonna try it on the outside. Whoa! All right, fire! Fire's happening. Whew. Hold on, you guys are getting smoked out. So the first thing we're going to add to the soup is these wild, really foraged rice noodles. So. This thing uses the wood so efficiently. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, this thing boils real good. Cameron's been feeding the fire. We put our winter crest and our sorrel in here and some carrots, rice noodles, and a little bit of salt and pepper and oregano is what I put in the spice mix. Well, it's not very much because I want to be able to taste, taste the nature. So, dinner will be ready soon. It could be just like a video in itself just watching this boil with fire. <laughs> So nice. It's, it's cool looking. Yeah. It's so hot that we can't keep the lid on it. That's the lid. <sighs> okay, soup's done. Yay. Hopefully it tastes good. It's, it's an experiment. Yeah. It's hot, so be careful. Don't burn yourself. We're hungry. You tried it already, sort of. Well, sort of. I just made sure the carrot was ready. How did it taste? Should the broth first. It tasted like soup, which is good. It tastes like soup. It's very spicy. Wow. Did you put a lot of pepper I, in there? I had, oh, I did like three or four of those little flakes of red pepper huh. in the. In That's the, it? Huh. 
spices. I wonder if the if what was the watercress? What they was say that the wintercress is kind of a strong flavor. Oh, we got like a yeah, pine, pine needle. needle. Okay. Um, I don't know what the sorrel. I could look in the book. Huh. So this is uh. Yeah, show them which reading. one is this. The the that's the wintercress. Okay, so this is the wintercress. Yeah. Oops, let's see if I can get it. Some, some noodles. Wintercress with noodles and broth. It says it's. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Is it's it bitter? Pretty mild. Mm -mm. No. No, oh. not at all. Cool. They said the little ones are the best, and that one was pretty small. Like it was, the plant was only like that big around, like total. Yeah. Mm. The bigger they get, the more bitter I think they get. Mm. So now you gotta do sorrel. You gotta get in on some of this. Totally. Uh, sorrel. Uh, that there's the sorrel. It's hard to scoop this out. The sorrel, I think, is a little more brown colored. Wait, is that it? No, this is it. That's sorrel, right? Oh no, no that's what, what? What is it? Wintercress? Wintercress. That's sorrel. Yeah. For sure. The sorrel turned like a brownish color in the in the soup. Mm. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just real mild. That's good. It's boiled really good. It's just, yeah. It tastes delicious, Looks actually. Looks healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. I want to get in on this party. Yeah. I'm just going to go for this big old winter wow. press. Yeah. <laughs> we should get some noodles or something with that. Tastes very naturey. It is bitter. A little bit. If you, like, get a big, big chunk of it. It's not bad, though. Mm. Yeah, I just had a leaf before. Yeah. I think the stalks are the bitter part. Yeah, the stalks definitely was the bitter part. Okay, so now I have a uh, sorrel. It's not too bad though. What does that taste like? That bitterness reminds me of something. I don't know. The sorrel tastes a lot more mild, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But That's awesome. the leaves of the wintercress are really mild too. Yeah, the stem was like. If you don't want the flavorful. bitterness, <laughs> you can just get the leaves. Yeah. Boil them good. That that bitterness of the stem. It's not real bad. I mean, it it tastes fine, but it reminds me of something. Mustard. It mm -hmm. is a little mustardy in a scent, a little bit because like it's in that family. Mm -hmm. I want to say some more like raw onion or something like that. Oh. Yeah, a little bit like like a little bit like a strong green onion kind of flavor. It's good. Yeah. someday we'll have to get a uh, These noodles are hard forage to get a hold for of. a root a root vegetable so that way we can have like instead of carrots like I don't know dandelion. Um, what was it that uh, Fowler and Alone? Was it a dandelion root? Or what was that plant? Where he, I don't where he was like crying knew. and he's like, it tastes like carrots. Maybe. Yeah, I think it might have been a dandelion root actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure he knew, but yeah. I think if it was, then it was that. Anyway, maybe we'll have to get some of that. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna dig into our food. And um, we're yeah, hungry. We're, we are hungry <laughs> the whole like, calling 911 thing in the middle of our dinner kind of postponed it a bit but yeah I feel like we're pretty accomplished foragers for the day. All right. <laughs> All right so we had uh had some fun uh got to have a little bit of excitement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call 911. Uh, got to practice foraging. Yeah, nice little, nice little day trip to the woods, and one of the first days it's actually been like not horrible in Oregon. <laughs> There's been a lot of rainy days this winter in particular, and uh, I think we both wanted some, some vitamin D. Yeah, it's yeah. been a beautiful day. Yeah. And that um, 
So the foraging we did was uh, wintercress and sorrel, mm -hmm. and the sorrel is just really mild. The wintercress has kind of a bittery flavor. I remembered what it tastes like that it reminded me of, I'm pretty sure is like uh, mustard greens. Yeah. If yeah. you've ever had mustard greens. And I think it's a plant, Erica was saying it it's was, a plant yeah. closely related to mustard. It's so. related to mustard. So. Anyway, thank you so much for going on our little day trip with us. And we will try to do our darndest to make some more videos, uh, you know, as the weather gets better and hopefully my energy goes up and some stuff like that. We definitely have some fun ideas. So, anyway, thank you so much, guys. Peace.